So, Bev, here we are. We're having the, we're in the the, the uh, first room that you enter off the uh, front of this house, uh, other than the front door. When and we're debating what we call this room. Why don't we call it a? Um, it, it, well, they've got it set up as a little bit of a dinette. Yes. It could easily be just a sitting room. It, I think it's a nice spot. I think mm -hmm. it's right off the kitchen here. It's off the formal living room. I mean, you know, whatever you want it to be, it could be. It could be a formal dining room, and that goes off into the. This goes into the garage, and this takes you into the first floor laundry. Oh, okay. Plus down to a basement that is so big, anybody who says they don't have enough storage here needs to buy a warehouse or something. It's gigantic. And there's also an attic above here. Oh, okay, so lots of storage. We have three attic areas in this house. The interesting thing that where we are in Hatzel Court is, is that um, I don't know. I've been doing this for 40-some years now. I never knew this existed. I guess you have to be a Hillcrest person. You have to know. I think half of Hillcrest doesn't even know this is here. It's just one of those little streets. It's got three houses on it. It's a dead end. The city maintains it. Hmm. It's great. It's just off Shenango Street block. Yes. Two blocks. Yes. All right, so here's look at this kitchen. Talk about big. There's no formal dining room in this house because I don't think you need it. This kitchen is gigantic. Yeah, I mean, you could put whatever you need there. Anything fits there. Yeah. Computer area, pantry, there's broom closets in this house. It's like whatever you need is here. It's amazing. Wow. And you've got, the wood trim is very nice yes. in it. And you've got uh, like a wainscoting around uh -huh. here. Mm -hmm. A chair rail. Yes, the chair rail. I mean, it's just the windows, the sun, when it's sunny, is very bright here. It's just nice. It's got a good feel in this house. As I said, every room is so spacious here. Yeah. This living room could be a dining area here, too, if somebody wanted to, because you need a few couches. Actually, you know, any side of this could be a dining room, yes. couldn't it? Yes. Yeah, so you can make it very versatile. I kind of like that with the fireplace the and fireplace. all. The fireplace. I could see a nice dining set there, mm -hmm. and then sort of a, you know, Sitting area. Gathering, sitting, living room, whatever you want it to be. And the two lovely windows. Yeah, look at I that I mean, a couple more weeks, the leaves are going to turn. It's mm -hmm. going to be lovely. you got built-ins over here. So, again, collections, whatever you want to display. China cabinet. Yes, yes. Okay, our foyer is smack in the center of the house. True center hall. It's a true center hall, and it's just... Big. Big. <laughs> big. you got a guest closet. It zips right into the kitchen. It's just wonderful. There is hardwood floors underneath the carpeting. Okay. Okay, and we'll see that more over here. This side here, we have two, I'm calling them bedrooms, okay? This, they took the closet out. That says something right there. Nobody ever takes closets out of houses, but this house has so much storage. Six panel doors throughout. Yeah, all the originals. These are the kind of doors when you slam them. The earth They're shakes. solid. Yeah. They're solid. Now, the full bathroom here has been totally done over. It's got a new bath unit, tub, mm. and everything. I love the black and white. What a the black and white goes with everything. Leaves the vintage. You yes. Know? Yes. Very, very nice. Okay. Linen closets in and out of the bathroom. This one. Um, another bedroom. Another bedroom. Giant. Notice wow. the closets. I mean. It's fantastic. King size beds fit in most of these rooms. So we come up this nice staircase and we have a hallway with a sitting area between the two bedrooms, which I've never found before and I really, really like. But you've also got a nice shower bath here. Mm. Again, the black and white, but it's been updated nicely. Linen here, linen inside. Great touches. Every, yes, everywhere you look, there's storage. Both the vanities up and down have tons of storage. The living spaces are just fabulous. Exactly. And I'm guessing that through this hole we have a bedroom? This is a bedroom. Wow. Nice size bedroom here. I actually think the house was built about 1940, we're mm -hmm. guessing, which is probably when that crib, I think it's a crib, yeah. was built. <laughs> wow, so. or sooner. Yes. It's a crib with a, where you can push it around. It's a bassinet like bassinet, thing. You can wheel yeah. it around from room to room, so mm -hmm. it works. But this is what I really, really like. This is what you were talking about, the sitting yes, area. the little sitting area. Yeah, it makes it really nice. And actually, you know something, if someone wanted to with that door and all, 
this could be a whole suite up yes. here. Yes. Yes. Because you've got the two beds down anyway. Yeah. And these rooms up here could all be a master suite. Mm -hmm. Okay. This walk up attic. Mm -hmm. So this is attic number two okay. in the house alone. Mm -hmm. Plus there's an attic above the two car garage. Mm -hmm. Now, this I believe was supposed to be the master. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, size wise, closets, built in drawers, built in, built in drawers, walk in cedar closet. Nice. Isn't this nice? Really? Floors nice. are beautiful. It's just an amazing house. All right, so Bev, what's the address here? It is for Hatzel Court. Hatzel Court. In Hillcrest. In Hillcrest. It is right, it's two blocks from Chenango Street. Well, if you want to see this, you'll call Bev, she'll tell you how to get here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, it's a, <clears throat> this house is a, a full two-story center hall colonial that's got um, as many as four bedrooms. Yes. Got incredible potential on the second floor as far as making it a master suite or such, if you yes. wanted it. it's wonderful. Two attics, one over the garage, one over there. Three attics. Three attics, that's right. Three attics. Attic here, attic over the house, and then there's another two-car detached yes. garage. So you have three garages. Mm -hmm. And two-car garage is also heated if somebody wants to. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you've got a vintage property. We're guessing mid-early 19th, 20th century? Yeah, 1940s. 1940s, think, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got a, a basement area that's a very high and walk out. Yes. You just, they just put in a radon system. The furnace looks newer to me. Mm -hmm. And this property is on what? You said three quarters of an acre there about? Just about three quarters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it goes all the way down to what used to be the Shenango Canal. Yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Uh, super private. Really a dead end street with three houses on it. That's it. Give Bev a call. Take a look at this nice property. Thanks, Thank Bev. Thank you.